All right, good morning. Uh, it is currently 6.51 um, a.m., if you can see there. And uh, today, the day starts. So I wanted to walk you guys through a day in the life of intermittent fasting. As well as today I'm getting my baseline testosterone levels checked. I want to uh, create a series on Instagram to optimize testosterone and overall health. And I think that it's smart to get baseline you know, measurements before you do that. So today we're going to do that in the clinic. We actually have a very busy day. Um, so I probably won't pick up the camera until the evening after my shift. But um, then we're going to hit a sweet workout. I'll show you everything that I eat in the day and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we'll see you guys at the testosterone clinic. So I just got my blood taken from Precision Health Labs here uh, for my testosterone check. And um, I know that the system isn't perfect, but my God, was it gloomy in there. Uh, it was an hour wait with people who were coughing up uh, a storm and seemed to be sick, which is very unfortunate. However, the actual ambiance in the room or in the facility was I would say far from ideal um, at the clinic that I'm currently positioned at I a new process to onboard blood work and blood draws in-house so that we can shuttle them to precision health labs is in the is in the works and I think that that is gonna make patient care uh, so much more effortless and seamless and um, enjoyable at the end of the day so with that being said it's uh it's close to nine o'clock i've got to get to the clinic get bags prepped and i'll see you guys there you know another reason too why onboarding in-house blood services is I think a great idea for patient care is that quite a few of our patients also utilize um, intravenous therapies, whether that's ozone therapy or if it's um, just intravenous vitamin bags, vitamin C, um, Myers cocktails, things like that. And if we can onboard these process, then that means that they have to get poked less because what we can do is take the blood draw at the beginning, at the initial uh, point of administration of the bag and then administer the nutrients which means that patients uh, compliance goes up I mean no one likes to get poked with needles um, especially when they're the larger gauges that you need or I should say the smaller gauges that you need the larger actual needle diameter to, to draw the blood so with that being said I think it's a great idea to uh, onboard these kinds of things and um, you know constantly be changing and trying to reinvent the healthcare system or support the healthcare system in whatever way that we can with all of that being said, it's time for myself to get a coffee. Um, it's time to get this place kind of going. And uh, start, there's the cotton from the, uh, from the last, the testosterone drop. Man, sometimes just the tape alone hurts more than the actual needle. Okay, let's get this thing going. I'm gonna see you guys for lunch briefly and then dinner afterwards. And the gym, we're going to the gym at some point today. All right, so we just got home. It is currently, if you can see there, just past 10.30. Um, the day got way uh, out of control. I ended up going over with patients. I had, charting was important, but I went and had dinner over at my mom's place, which was great and I got to see my grandparents there. And um, I had a great sandwich for lunch. It was a lot of fun. It's, this is a perfect vlog to kick this series off. And the reason why that is, is because the last thing I want to do right now is go to the gym. I literally just got home, so they're both waiting here for me. Hey, it's Brucey. Yeah. Um, so, this is a perfect vlog for why, even though things don't line up in your day, even though, you know, um, thing, like I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can almost see it in my face. I look so tired. 
Um, it's been a long day. I got to the clinic this morning at just past nine and we got the testosterone drawn right off at right in the morning. I had to pack my bag before that. Um, the last thing I want to do is go to the gym and you know that we're going to the gym. You know that we are getting out of the house right now. It's 1030. I've got patients tomorrow morning. I've got to be back at the clinic for, I think it's nine o'clock start tomorrow, but you know that we're going to make it. And that I think is the principle there based on that action that, um, that is the reason why I wanted to create this, this vlog series. So without further ado, let's go to the gym. Something else that I wanted to mention was, uh, I had for what I had for dinner was uh, breakfast for dinner at my parents' place. Uh, it was fantastic. My mom made a frittata, which had organic feta cheese and broccoli and all these different veggies in it. And then we had um, these organic uh, sausages from a local farmer and <laughs> organic um, sourdough bread that one of her uh, patients actually made her, which is fantastic. And then after that, I had... I've been drinking hot chocolate recently. I actually just bought right here um, this organic natural cocoa powder. Um, one of the reasons, don't mind all the shoes on the floor, this place is an absolute mess at the moment, but one of the reasons why um, organic cocoa powder is so important actually and is, has some very powerful uh, health benefits is that it's high in things called polyphenols, specifically something called EGCG, which stands for epigallocatechin gallate or something like that. I can't remember the full biochemical name. Um, but it's a really, really powerful mTOR inhibitor, which is a enzyme that's a, a, essentially a proto-oncogene. So this will prevent or helps at least prevent cancer um, in theory in some studies that it's been correlated to. Um, not saying that this is going to be like the be all end all for sure. And if that's something you're dealing with, obviously go see a healthcare professional, um, but has some really powerful antioxidant benefits um, aside from that. If anybody knows a good uh, lip chap supplier, because god dang, I've been talking all day and I need some lip chap in this dry Alberta weather, um, that'd be fantastic. Okay, let's go hit a quick back workout. Cue the, uh, cue the shots in three, two, I don't know, one. So it's currently 12.47, if you can see here. Um, I just got back from the gym and I had a really cool experience that I wanted to share with you guys as I finish off my macros for the day. And micros, I should say. Um, first of all, what we have on the menu tonight is a essential amino acid mix that's very high in branched chain amino acids, as well as arginine, which will help with vasodilation and blood flow recovery, things like that. In this fun little container, we've got a couple different pills. We have a um, turmeric extract. We have a testosterone support. Now that I have had my baseline taken, I can start to introduce the support um, molecules and herbs. We've got a magnesium supplement, a nervous system support supplement, and um, some antioxidants. And then last but not least, we've got a big bowl of Kino Collagen. It's my, one of my favorite supplements on the market uh, and about half a cup of berries in there. Um, so as I enjoy all of this, I would like to share with you guys this experience that I had. Um, 
it's Friday night and I'm driving downtown um, Calgary to get to the gym and on my way down to the gym I passed by one of the nicest Ferraris I've ever seen in person. I passed by many, many BMW M3s, M4s, um, a few different like larger SUV BMWs that were matte black or, or had these crazy matte colors like matte green or, or whatever. And as I was driving, um, I reached the gym, I parked my car, and I was thinking to myself, you know, one day that's gonna be me. One day I can't wait for that car and I'm, and I'm, you know, almost adopting this kind of mindset that I think mainstream social media preaches where you should get mad at someone for what they have. You should get mad at that person because they have something that you don't have that you want and that will somehow motivate you to do whatever it is necessary to get the thing that, that, that they have. So I was sitting there and I was, I, was, I was fairly upset. And I got out of my car and I walked to the gym and as I was getting into the gym, a guy walked up to me and he said, um, hey man, that's a sick car that you have over there. He, he literally just said, that's a, that's a nice BMW. And I don't have a special car. My car is like a 2007 BMW. It's got like 160,000 kilometers on it. Um, the 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 outside of it has scratches and 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 it's it's not by any means special but it made me realize how important it is to enjoy the process it's i was so blinded i think beforehand with the vehicles that i had seen and the people that i had seen around uh the city that i forgot about where i am right now and all of the things that i've done and accomplished in my day to day to get to where I am. And as much as, you know, I'd love the, the Lamborghini or the whatever vehicle you could talk about, the bigger picture is that I'm in a safe vehicle. I am in a safe city. I can eat food and afford food that nourishes my body. I have the knowledge to do so. I've got the knowledge about the supplements and the nutrients and the, um, the foods that are necessary for my own health. And one step further is, is that I'm in a field of work where I can help other people. And I think that's a lot more rewarding than saying you have the Lamborghini or driving the Ferrari or driving the M3 or the M4 or any of those things are the little things that come with, um, the journey along that process. The cars will come one day, and if they don't, they don't. There's many different Health Canada approved pieces of equipment that I would like to introduce to give my patients better care, and those cost a lot of money. And I would much rather prioritize funds to those than to a sick car, or to a sick watch, or to whatever. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my, my little you know spiel, is enjoy the process. Think about where you are right now in your life and your journey. And uh, remember that you know progress isn't um, sometimes linear. It, it happens in different ways. And that other people are at different stages of their journey. You know, I might be at the 10% the mark in my journey and I'm looking at this guy that's driving a Ferrari. I don't even know who he is. And he might be at the 90% of his journey, right? He might be the CEO of whatever, or he's built his company and whatever, and I'm just getting started. Um, so you have to take things at, you know, you can't take things at face value necessarily. And you have to think of the big picture in the context of it. And then with that being said, I think it's a great segue into that there will be more of these types of philosophical principles outlined in Project Hercules. And that once Project Hercules is completed, Anyone who completes that curriculum and that program will transform their lives forever. There's no hands. There's no question to me about that. Um, we're in the midst of building the arguably the best course, curriculum, online program, whatever it is, 
to change your life, to change the way you think, to change your habits, to change your vices, to um, change your mindset, to optimize your relationships, to build stronger and more connected relationships with your family members, your peers, your colleagues, your friends, whatever it is, um, to build solid gym routines, diet routines, burn fat effortlessly, build muscle effortlessly. And I know it sounds too good to be true, but I genuinely believe in, in this project so much um, that I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I knew that this was going to come. I knew that Project Hercules, I, I didn't know exactly what it was going to be, you know, whatever it was eight years ago when I started this channel, but I know, I know, I know, I know where it is now and where it's going. And oh, I'm so excited to share with you guys the final product once it's, once it's released and finished. My camera died, unfortunately. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Spruce is gonna enjoy some snuggles, potentially. And um, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. If you'd like to follow along on this journey of building Project Hercules, releasing Project Hercules, and what it really stands for and how it can actually transform your life, or just learn things along the way, then I would suggest that you smash that thumbs up button, uh, give it a big old like, feed the algorithm, as well as follow the channel and uh, turn on the little bell notifications whenever I post a video, then you know what's up. So with that being said, have a good night and uh, we'll see you later.